Now I declare, Lord, we are stepping into the month of September, the last quarter of the year. Blood sucking spirits, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, whether by accident on the road, whether by plane crashes, by boat crashes, by activities of wicked and evil men. In the name of Jesus, may a mark of exemption come upon everyone here. For a strange reason, the ember months are known as months of catastrophe, tragedies of all sorts. But in the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven preserve you. May the God of heaven preserve you. And I declare over your life, the favor of God that is his signature upon believers, may that favor rest upon you. Hear me. Every troubled family here under the sound of my voice, I speak to you, peace be still. Everyone here who is in politics and government, our parliamentarians, people from the presidency, we declare wisdom for you. Wisdom for you to help this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for those in the legal profession by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Wisdom to administer justice. In the name of Jesus. Every man and woman of God here, the grace upon you to teach truth with power and accuracy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, every every spirit responsible for lack want financial hardship and poverty don't say it is not important this is a very important prayer i pray for you and all connected to you in the name of jesus christ may the season of drought come to an end in your life those trusting god for jobs i release my faith with you that doubles also for those trusting God for promotions. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord give it to you now. Any project you have begun that seems to be failing in your hands, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, receive the finisher's anointing. The grace for completion comes on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for everyone here who has any kind of legal issue you are having, whether land problem, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, even this week, may the Prince of Peace step in and turn things around. Whatever has affected your prayer life, so that your fire for prayer, the discipline of prayer and intercession, is no longer there may fresh fire come upon your altar now and then i pray for your word study life everything that has affected your passion for the word i am busy i am busy i pray that in the name of jesus let there be restoration of fire any wrong ungodly association at any level that is in your life driving you to walk against the will and the purposes of God be separated from those associations now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ right now whilst we're standing everyone I apologize I know that we stretch the time a bit today the greatest miracle that can happen to any life please let's honor this prayer is the miracle of salvation Many of you left your homes, connected online, wanting something greater than the current experience you've had. And Jesus is calling you right now. There are people who have never taken the issue of Jesus seriously. Others, you found yourself in the things of God, but for some reason, you've backslidden and your life has gone haywire. Now, please, let's minimize movement so that we can give them room. Whether in here the overflows down to the basement outside or following online you're saying apostle i cannot leave this place tonight without making it right with jesus i want to start afresh wherever you are please i want you to leave your seat those outside move to your your your, your screen 
those inside you are saying apostle i want to make a fresh decision or i want to rededicate my life please very quickly run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand in front here let's celebrate them as they come it pays to know jesus it pays to know jesus young and old alike is this the best you can do koinonia celebrate them as they come run to jesus run to jesus i'm running i'm running i'm running to the mercy seat 